Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. What messages do we have today for my Pisces? What do my Pisces need to hear today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Pisces, please. Holy Spirit. Okay, so we're going to do a you versus them. So we have the Lover's Card, Gemini Energy. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. The Strength card, Leo energy. The Hermit, Virgo energy. King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. And the Five of Pentacles under the deck, Ace of Swords. All right, so let's see what we have here. So on this side, we have someone here that is either married in a full-blown relationship and has a lover on the side or we have someone here that needs to choose between two people on who they want to commit to and i feel like someone here is choosing because we've got someone pulling away we have someone here pulling away and speaking their truth saying listen i'm sorry it's not you it's me you know what I'm saying? Um, I have to tell you the truth. I have to let this go because I'm married or because I choose somebody else. You see what I'm saying? Someone here is about to come out with the truth and or someone's about to find out the truth that someone is in a higher level of commitment. One second, guys. One moment. Sorry about that. My doorbell was ringing. Spirit, what do we have here? My Pisces, please. So the Lover's Card and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Hierophant, and the King of Wands. Very strong fire energy here. Um, the Justice Card, Libra energy. The Hermit and the Moon, Cancer, Piscean. So someone here knows that they have to make a decision. Someone here is going to make a very impulsive decision. Um, they, they just have to do it. They're ripping it like a Band-Aid. You know what I'm saying? And this King of Wands is saying, listen, I'm in a commitment. I'm in a relationship or I, I'm choosing to be in a relationship with someone else. Someone here is doing the right thing and pulling away though. Okay. Someone is doing the right thing and pulling away. Now, as to whether or not they're going to tell you that is a different story. This person may just ghost you. King of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Five of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So, you know what? Listen, this person may have met someone new and they're going to dip off with this person. And if that's the case, listen, you're better off with that Wheel of Fortune. It was divinely guided for, for this person to leave your life. The Strength card and the Ace of Swords. Um... Seeing the truth for what it is, or this person speaking the truth, is going to be the best thing that can happen here. But I'm feeling that, you know, this person withdrawing, this person's actions are going to end up speaking <coughs> louder than words. So someone here is about to ghost. This person here is about to ghost or pull away to be with one person. Okay, and the other person is going to either be told that they're being left behind or just get ghosted. Okay, Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Pisces? So we have the Seven of Wands and we have the Eight of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. We have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Four of Wands. Guys, one second, please. Sorry, my dog is barking at whoever's at the door. I feel like this is a karmic soulmate, Pisces. I feel like this might be a karmic. Because normally I would have taken from the bottom of the deck... Normally I would have taken from the bottom of the deck instead I pulled one more and that with that's a soulmate energy and then with that justice card I feel like this might be a karmic because you've had enough of this whoever's on this side has had enough whoever's on this side I feel I 
Honestly, I feel like this person got used from... I feel like this person is being pushed away. They're being blocked. I feel like this Knight of Wands took money or took something from this person. Do you see what I'm saying? Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this Knight of Wands came in and there's a lot of money being exchanged here. There's money being exchanged. And then this person ends up, I feel like maybe somebody here was taking money from this person and giving it to a family member. That may be so random for like maybe one person, Pisces, okay? But someone here maybe was using somebody for money to give to their spouse. Wow. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, please. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Someone here, oh man, someone here knew that they were being juggled. Whoever's on this side knew that there something wasn't right. There was a lot of fights about jealousy. You know those fights of, but then why are you doing this and why are you doing that? Like someone here knew and there was a lot of arguments about stuff that didn't make sense. Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Someone here stole money. Knight of Wands and the Lover's Cart. Yeah, someone here was in a higher level of commitment. This wants to come out. Temperance and the Queen of Swords. Um, I feel that Pisces, whoever got robbed here, because someone got robbed of something, um, needs to forgive needs to just forgive and let go six of pentacles and the two of swords because honestly and i know that someone's going to get mad at me saying this okay but no one told this queen of swords to give in this way this queen of swords knew that something was up okay this queen of swords knew that something was up something was wrong it was a conscious decision to give that money so therefore for whoever has lost money or has lost something in this connection take responsibility for it and heal you will be so much better off than living with that toxicity and anger of this person queen of pentacles with the four of wands and the justice card and the empress yeah this person is in a way yeah this person is in a higher level of commitment yeah you see here you're gonna see maybe online you may even see it online that this person has distanced themselves because they're married and four of wands right afterwards they're either married or in a higher level of commitment or in a higher level of commitment Someone here took money from one person. They took money from a third party to give to their spouse or family member or to give to someone else. Could even be their mother. What is the challenge here? The Ten of Cups. And the Five of Wands. And the Three of Wands. Yeah, someone here, I feel like this person here caused a lot of fighting, was very angry because this Queen of Swords energy, and this could be you, Pisces, someone was very angry because there was like a sense of jealousy or instability or feeling unsafe knowing that something wasn't quite, quite right. And they were right because someone here... Um, had a vision wanting a Ten of Cups, but meanwhile, this person already has that somewhere else. The outcome, Queen of Wands, your losses, and know that it's going to lead to something so much more. This ending, you're going to have a new beginning that's going to be so much greater than anything that you've lost, okay? All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye.